Hello, 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 ladies and gentlemen. This is one of the really exciting matchups coming to you all the way from Goa. I believe we have two very strong Terrans who are potential champion material and definitely probables to get to the final four, duking it out in the round robin stages. This is going to be about brownie points. This is about going and making an impression. And this is about going and making a statement saying, I will own you. So it just depends whether they go standard macro, they go and fight with each other over a cheese. And let's see what happens. Dark Matter is the king of harassment and macro. Uh, Oxer has got a really solid game and he plays a great uh, uh, game as far as the technical game. They're talking about what we are experiencing here. A couple of people who are... Uh, we're, well, our internet's really bad anyway, so it should be good. Uh, instead of real trashy talk, they like what's going to happen. I think Dark Matter is saying, ah, well, whatever. I'm going to play what's happening. And Manoj is now something. Uh, so, yeah. It's and that should help settle that out excuse me please and uh, this is something which is happening right now they let's see where he goes and scouts this is straight into the line and this is very interesting he's gone and put a supply depot here because that takes less time this is not something that is going to be uh, a zergling rush or whatever so that's not really happening he's not even gone and scouted yet He's going straight for his refinery and using every mineral he can go and save. Dark Matter's got a really interesting style, which he's going to do. Well, let's see how, if he actually scouts, what's going to happen. Uh, here comes the next SCV because it's just a direct transfer. He's going to go and scout this out. He sees, well, everything is pretty standard. There's nothing really happening here. And he should be able to put him back. Uh, mirror matchups are always about making the exact same things. And the difference in APM, difference in... Uh, it's not too much. You can see that they are both developing pretty much. And army supply is pretty much the same. Their production is pretty much the same. But interestingly, here comes the difference. Uh, here goes the factory. And the factory is sitting all the way here. And this is now there is no factory. Oh, there is, there is. And both of them are now going straight for the factory. Oh. And the matchup's complete now. So 21 27. Akshar does have one less. I think this is just an overkill right now. But this was just constructed a little in advance. And it allows him to go and block his ramp, ramp off. And interestingly, if this SCV had actually scooted in here, that would have been great go and catch him off guard you don't really see that happening right now and the supply dude now blocks off his entire front wall uh, this is sufficiently blocked off too if you see the number of units you actually see that this is exactly the same maybe there's a slight difference on SCVs there you go it's made up there's some extra mule which is available and yeah now it's pretty even um, as far as production goes you can see the difference is going to be here, there they go, they've taken their paths. Uh, our dear Dark Matter has gone for a starport, and that's the straight off build which is going into a Hellion and a couple of Marines. Uh, and he just walked in, did he? <laughs> he just walked in, and he's going to scout out everything, and there's the zero SCV from Dark Matter, knows exactly that's what's going on. He now he knows. It Oh god, the siege tech's gonna be scouted out. There's the tank. Uh, the siege tech's coming in and and the response for siege tech is blue flame hellions with a definite idea for a drop. And a couple of hellions should be coming up here and a drop would be devastating because you have one of them already out. He goes and scouts. He had to go ahead and to get that thing done. And we should be able to see that it is there. He's going to just dance in the middle. Go ahead and say, yay, baby. 
and you should really not try and expose this right now. Um, responses, uh, engineering bay should be done about now. Is he going to drop a couple of barracks? I hope so, because otherwise this is this this barracks. Oh, where is this this engineering base? Really not useful if he does not actually plonk down maybe a barracks uh, turret here or there. There it comes. One, two, three, four, five, six. Stand there. Go get into the base and go. One shot. Two shot. Three shots. Four shots. And blue flame. Blue flame. And suddenly, this is now becoming extremely painful. And oh my god. Oh, this is like super damage. No! This is just. Oh god, no! This is just so painful. And this is on, a, on the other side, this is an attack that comes down here. And it's now an open base race, and let's see what this comes down. And... Let's see if he can go ahead and respond sufficiently on time. This, this base is nearly dead and not happening. He's sending these people back. But let's see if they can go ahead and do any kind of damage here. He's getting into the baseline. And there are no probes. This is basically a full all-in. This is about those brawny puns I was telling you about. Oh, God. This is big time damage. I don't think this is our middle. Oh, no. The tank's gone. And there it comes. And there's the GG.